but Sylvie's four years old and she loves a lot of things that typical four year olds love. She loves movement. She loves music. She loves Yo Gabba Gabba. Um, it's her favorite cartoon. Um, she loves to spend time with mommy and daddy more than anything else. Um, she loves her swing and she likes going fast in her wheelchair. We push her around and um, she loves being outside. Started having seizures when she was four days old. We did MRIs, EEGs, we did genetic tests, metabolic tests, she had muscle biopsies done, you name it, we did it, and the doctors have never been able to tell us, you know, why she has seizures, why she has such developmental delay. Um, there's never been any answers for us on any of those things, but she does continue to have seizures. She has hundreds a day. Um, medications have never worked for her, um, and so, uh, and as you can see, you know, it affects her globally. She can't walk, she can't talk, she can't hold her head up on her own. These are all the medications that we've tried um, and have had pretty much no success with. Um, and there's everything here from Topamax to Phenobarbital, Depakote, Sabral, Lorazepam, which is a controlled substance. Um, I mean, I could just keep going on and on. None of them work. Aww. The future for her, um, <laughs> yeah, would be much, much better if we could figure out a way to get the seizures under control. But we've tried so many drugs, and a lot of the drugs were worse than the seizures themselves as far as how they affected her quality of life and the scary side effects. And I, I, I really want an option for her that, um, that I know, based on what other parents have experienced, provides their child with some relief from seizures and improves their quality of life. Any parent knows that that's the worst thing in the world, to just sit and watch your child suffer and not be able to do anything about it. And... I'm ready to, I want something to do about it. Um, and I, I am not scared at all to give my child CBD oil if it was available to us because I've given, I've given her so many things and seen them react so horribly in her body. I, I'm, I'm not afraid of this. Well, my hope for Sylvia's future um, is that if we had access to CBD oil um, and the Charlotte Webb strain of medical marijuana legally in Kentucky, um, is that it would give us another thing to try um, and that if we could control her seizures, maybe we could start to get to know her a little bit better than what we do. You know, I might be able to you know, get more eye contact where she looks at me. Um, I might be able to feel her squeeze me back a little bit when I hug her. I might be able to get her to sit on a couch next to me and watch TV. You know, really simple things that parents get to do with their kids every day. And It hurts to know that there might be something out there that could help us get those things and we, we can't get it. I just feel like Sylvia's always, there's always something between us and it's either a seizure or a drug that I'm giving her to keep her from having the seizures that doesn't work and just wipes her out. Um, or, you know, makes her stomach hurt or makes her more irritable or makes her too, too sleepy, you know, to interact. It's, it's, there's always something between us, you know, and I know that, you know, medical marijuana is a drug. It's a drug that I'd be giving her just like, you know, all these other drugs, but, um, but it's a natural product that from all evidence shows that 
is very safe, um, especially in comparison to all the other things that we've tried. And it's not something that I feel is appropriate for everyone, but especially in situations like this with my daughter and other parents with their children who've tried everything, you know, we don't have anything to lose. We've lost it already. So daily life for Sylvia, um, she needs constant care. You know, she needs someone with her all the time. Um, she's fed um, with a G-tube um, for her feeding. She doesn't eat anything by mouth. Um, she, like I said, she, she loves to play, but we have to play for her. We have to move her arms, move her legs, swing her, bounce her. Um, but she enjoys all of those things. I think it's pretty, it's pretty obvious what my message is, is that, um, I think, I think the state legislators in, in Kentucky need to make this available, um, to the people who deserve it. Ultimately, it's a compassionate decision. Um, and I hope that the, when they hear Sylvia's story, that they start to see this side of a patient that needs medical marijuana. Because to me, it's no different than, you know, when her doctor says, here, she needs Ativan, she needs Depakote, she needs Topamax. Well, she needs, right now, she needs CBD oil, and she should be able to get it. And they have the power to make that happen. So please, make that happen. For her. <laughs>